today we're gonna to talk about everybody's favorite topic, digital retailing. How does your dealership define digital retailing and what parts of your business are involved? The car being sold from the car getting here to paperwork through the door and the customer driving away in the car, that has to be smooth, not just part one is smooth, part two is smooth, it has to flow. And digital retailing really helps with that because everything's integrated and plays really nice together. We found that Cox's Digital Retailing, that product is the most complete solution to where you don't have five or six different softwares trying to get one thing done because then it's just bulky on your side. And if it's bulky on your side, but you know, if it's convenient on the customer side, but still bulky on your side, it's still not ideal. You need to be fluent through the whole process. Otherwise you're doing the same stuff twice. So I'd love to hear kind of your thoughts on how you've kind of overcome some of those in your store to actually get people using the products. You have to have a pretty flexible tool. When you have that flexibility and you know a tool that's constantly adapting, you get staff that work with it and are more, embrace it more. The terms big data get, get thrown around a lot and people talk about all the data they have. Um, I'd love to hear some ways in which you're, you're kind of putting data into action. I have dealer.com for my website, as well as performance managers that we evaluate advertising every month. And initially digital retailing was like kind of off to the side. Now it's integrated into the metrics we cover every month. And you can see how it's interacting with changes in your website. If you move BDPs around, if you change the way your search results pages work, you can see the interactions and then how everything kind of starts overlapping. And I think unless you're really looking at that stuff, you're not gonna know if a certain tool is viable or if it's really helping or what you can do to maybe nudge your consumers in the right direction. To see the rest of that interview, go to cbtnews.com and hit subscribe. Thanks for watching.